Hello, welcome. Thank you so much for listening and watching. I really appreciate it. Today, I wanted to do a flow that includes Shirsasana 1, Headstand 1. Uh, I've done a workshop video on this before, so if you're not familiar with the pose, please go back and watch that and rock it out there and then come back and join us. Let's get started. Sit up tall, take your shoulders back, and close your eyes. Bring your hands together in prayer pose, Anjali Mudra. When we start to explore the world upside down, we are exposed to a new perspective. Whenever we experience something new, our first reaction is usually fear or anxiety. Today in our practice, we tap, tap into the power and the courage of our heart as we light up our practice. Bow your head to your heart. Release your hands, lift your head, open your eyes. Rock and roll, let's get started. Come to standing at the top of your mat, Tadasana. Stand with your feet hip distance apart, ground through your legs, open through your heart. On the next inhale, float your arms overhead. As you reach up, use the power of your legs to stretch through your arms and through your hands. Take a full breath. With the exhale, bring your hands to your heart center, bow forward and touch the ground, Uttanasana. As you fold in, you can take a little bend in your knees until your fingertips touch, but once the fingertips touch, make your legs strong and straight and fold in. On the next inhale, lift and open your chest, half stretch forward. You can bring your hands onto your legs if you need and fold in. Take your hands to your hips, take your shoulders back with an open chest rise. Release your hands, Tadasana. Float the arms overhead, full breath as you reach. Bring your hands to your heart center, bow forward and touch the ground, Uttanasana. Lift and open the chest, half stretch forward, Ardha Uttanasana, and fold in. Take your hands to your hips, take your shoulders back with an open chest rise. Last one, float it up, take the arms back, and with strong legs, lean back just a little bit, start to explore that space behind you, the unknown. Bring your hands to your heart center, and fold. Lift and open your chest, half stretch forward, and step to plank pose. As soon as you step back, check the hands, shoulder width apart, feet hip distance apart, strong arms, strong legs, open through the heart, lower halfway down, and then lower all the way down. Point the toes, take the shoulders back, lift the chest up and forward, cobra pose, bhujangasana. Reset your feet, push your hips back, downward facing dog. Step forward to meet your hands. On the same breath, lift and open your chest, half stretch, and fold in. Take your hands to your hips with an open chest, rise. Float the arms, take them up, take them back, lean back and stretch. Come back to center, hands in prayer pose as you fold. Lift and open your chest, half stretch forward, step to plank pose. Strong arms, strong legs, open the heart, and we're going to lower all the way down. Point the toes back, lift the chest up and forward for Cobra. Reset your feet, push your hips back, downward facing dog. Bring your feet together, move them slightly forward. You can step or we're gonna float to Uttanasana. Nice and easy. Lift and open the chest and fold in. This one, bring the feet together, hands on the hips, take the shoulders back, open and rise. Float the arms up, take the arms back, super strong legs as you stretch. Come back to center and fold. Lift and open the chest, half stretch forward. Step to plank pose. This time, we're gonna only lower to chaturanga halfway down and hold. Lower down, hold, shoulders back, chest open. Upward facing dog, strong arms, straight arms, open heart. Downward facing dog, push it all the way back. Bring the feet together, look forward, bend the knees and lightly float Uttanasana. Ooh, that was sweet. Lift and open the chest and fold in. Self-celebration there. Rise to stand, float the arms up, <laughs> take the arms back, lean back and stretch. Come back to center and touch the ground. Lift and open your chest, half stretch forward. Good, hold on, let me just adjust this. Good. And step to plank pose. Sorry about that. Open through the heart. And we're gonna lower halfway down. Untuck the feet, straighten the arms, upward facing dog. Good, downward facing dog. 
I'm just pause for a round of breath here. I'm going to go into Parjva Konasana. Step the right foot forward. Turn the back heel down and flat. Good. You can keep the right hand on the inside of the leg, uh, outside of the leg, inside of the leg, or on the thigh. I'm going to keep it on the outside. Take the left arm overhead, reach forward, palm face down, strong legs. Keep your front leg exactly where it is. I'm going to rise to warrior two. Okay. In this warrior two, get into that front leg, open the heart. We do a variation. We're going to turn the fingers up, palms out. We're going to stretch out strong through the arms. As you gaze forward over the front arm, lower the chin down. It's going to give you a nice, super sweet stretch out of the uh, upper neck on the left side. Good. Step to plank pose. Get steady and strong in the arms and legs. Get open and free through your heart. Forever. <laughs> Downward facing dog. Let's do the second side. Step the left foot forward. Turn the back heel down and flat. Line the front heel with the arch of the back foot. Again, you can do any variation. Take the right arm overhead, and then reach it forward, palm face down. The arm could be on the inside. If you struggle to get this opening, then bring the hand to the inside or on the thigh, no problem. Strong in the legs. The next inhale, rise to warrior two. Sit it up just for a second. Settle into that front leg. Turn the palms out, fingers up, chin down. One more round of breath. Good. And step to plank pose. Open through the heart. Good. Downward facing dog. Okay, we're going to go into a trikonasana uh, sequence. Step the right foot forward. Turn the back heel down and flat. Take the left arm towards the sky. Straighten the front leg. So you have the option to bring the hand onto the leg, fingertips on the inside or outside, or even flat on the floor. So you're using, regardless of which variation you're using, Use your legs to open and expand the heart. Take your left hand to your hip. Look forward. Step forward, Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. Float the left arm overhead. Find your balance. If you need to bend your knee to touch the floor, go for it, no problem. So this is stage one, you can stay here. Next stage, bend the back knee, grab the back foot for Chapasana. Ardha Chandra Chapasana. Okay, release the foot, straighten the leg, straighten the arm. Ardha Chandrasana. And then we step back, plank pose. I always step to plank pose just to set up the distance of my hands and my feet. They stay there, then we push back down, we're facing dog. Let's do trikonasana, second side. Step the left foot forward, turn the back heel down and flat. Straighten the front leg, take the left hand wherever you need to, to allow you to get that front leg straight and open. Stretch the right arm overhead. As you reach it up again, using the power of the legs, Open through the heart, rise up. And into the space you're creating, like use the breath, stretch the breath. Okay, take your right hand to your hip. I slide my foot forward just so I stay on my mat. Ardha Chandrasana. And again, you can bend the left knee if you need to. I like to stay looking at the floor for balance. Allows me to transition a little bit smoother. Chapasana, bend the back knee, grab the back foot, and open the chest. And you can stay in Ardha Chandrasana if you're struggling with your balance. Just stay there, it's no problem. Release the foot. 
Good. And step to plank pose. Steady and strong in the arms, steady and strong in the legs. Open and free through your heart. <laughs> Downward facing dog. There's nothing like a little drama to lighten things up, to light the fire. Okay. Come to your hands, your knees. Sit back on your heels. We're just going to just take a moment to pause. And again, just tune back inside. Close your eyes and just soften. Cool. So before we get into Shrasasana 1, you can open your eyes now. Before we get into Shrasasana 1, we're going to do a little forearm stretch. I mean, uh, sorry, shoulder stretch. Forearms are going to be on the ground. You can watch me before you get into it so you understand. Bring, turn the palms face up and bring the forearms together to touch. Now the key to this pose is keeping the arms together and keeping them down. Don't let them slide. Your knees will be slightly behind your hips and then we're going to sit back. You ready? Let's do it together. Forearms together, back of the hands pressed down, and then just slide the hips back. There's going to be a place where it feels like the arms want to separate. That's where you're going to stop, okay? And just let the heart melt, soften open. You can release your head between your arms. I won't do that because I have the mic on. And it may do something funky on your end that we don't want. You can hear my breath. My breath is just kind of guiding the opening. Another variation here is to lift in your lower back just a little bit, as if you were straightening it or lifting, rounding it towards the ceiling. It won't go completely round, but just kind of compensate for that dropping of the lower back and then sit back a little bit further. The next inhale, come back to center. Sit back on your heels and shake it out. Okay, so we're gonna get into hands, uh, sorry, headstand, Shirsasana one. And again, if you've never done this before and you still wanna, uh, you still wanna try it, no problem, but please do it at a wall, okay? You'll get the wall right behind you so that there's no place for you to fall. All right, so when we go upside down, we're gonna do a couple of variations. If you're brand new to this pose, please just stay, uh, just stay vertical. Don't separate the legs. We'll do a couple of leg variations. Uh, there's a few ways to get into it. I'm gonna talk you through it. Let's come on to our forearms. Interlace your hands. And your hands can be wrists, uh, base of the heel of the palm can be touching or they can be separated. Bring the top of your head to the floor so that your hands are at the back of your head. Tuck your toes under, walk your feet forward. So you're gonna walk them forward to that point where your upper back is a little bit more vertical. So as you can, as you lift your, I'm gonna lift my right leg, you can bend that knee and with a light hop go up. You can keep it straight with a light hop go up or you can just uh, keep the leg straight and float up, okay? That's what I'm doing. So I'm gonna meet you at the top. If, you're, if you find that you're having to kick to get up, please go to a walk, because that momentum will be very difficult to control. So, and you tone your legs. Use, as you're uh, pressing through your arms, you're also pressing through the very top of your head. And if you tone your legs, squeeze them together, it's going to give you a lot more control. You're going to feel less unstable. We're gonna do a very sweet variation here, only if you feel stable here. If you feel unstable, just stay here, it's no problem. If you're upside down and you're stable, we're gonna open the legs to the sides. Okay, find your balance here. If you start to wobble, just come down. We're gonna take the right leg forward and the left leg back. You're essentially doing the splits in the sky. Okay. If you have the split, you have the balance, you can take the right leg a little bit to the left and the back leg a little bit to the right. You're just doing a little bit of a twist in the sky. You come back to the center, just bring the legs back together. If at any point you get shaky, start to wobble, just come down. Other side, open the legs, stretch through the legs, Left foot comes forward, 
right leg goes back. And if you have your balance here, left can go just a little bit more. When you move this, do this twist, shoulders do not move. Good. Come back to center and bring the legs together. Okay, we're going to lower halfway down and hold. Use, as you lower down, shift the butt back. Stretch through your legs. And hold for five, four, three, two, one. Release the feet, release the knees. Sit back and cry. <laughs> I hope you're okay. Okay, take your hands to your hips, take your shoulders back with an open chest, rise. So you're sitting on the heels now. I'm gonna to turn to face you, you can stay as you are. You can interlace your hands behind your back and just very sweetly soften the shoulders back. Now when you go upside down like that, the shoulders and the neck muscles, they will tense and contract because they're trying to protect you, it's normal. But now we have to send a signal to the body that says, hey, I'm okay, relax. Okay, keep the hands interlaced. We're gonna wrap the hands around to the right side. Okay. As you wrap them around, I can't go so far because I have the, the mic receiver behind me. We're gonna lower the right ear towards the right shoulder, get more of a stretch on the left side. And I like to use my breath to just kind of stretch into the muscles of the neck. Yeah. Good, come back to center. Let's take it to the other side. And lower the left ear towards the left shoulder. And kind of breathe into the muscles on the right side of your neck and shoulders. Even your chest, that'll feel pretty good. Good. Come back to center. Release your arms. Shake them out. Okay. I'm going to stay facing you. You can stay facing in the direction of your mat. Let's stretch our legs out. <clears throat> I'm going to start with the right legs. Keep the right leg straight forward. Bend the left knee. Open the left knee to the left. On fingertips, rise up through the heart. Turn the upper body forward, and we're going to walk the hands forward. As you walk the hands forward, you want to use, the reason why I instruct on fingertips is because we want to keep a lift through the front body. Even as we start to fold in and there's a little bit of a rounding, no problem, but always create that intention of inner space, open heart. Cool. And I'm going to take both hands to my front foot and I'm just letting the breath guide me in. And you can even in this position close your eyes and just feel. If you can't quite grab the foot, you can use a strap, a towel, or even just grab your ankle. No problem. But when you listen to the breath, the breath and the body are communicating right now. Everything's starting to slow down. So that tension that we had in the more strenuous poses, we don't need it here. Or that tension that we had in those strenuous parts of our life, we don't need it here. <laughs> Fuck. Note to self. <laughs> Good. Inhale to rise. Let's switch legs. Left foot forward. Right knee open. <clears throat> Again, just use your hands to lift up to the heart. Turn the upper body forward. Walk the hands forward. As far as they're going to go on fingertips with an open heart. Then you can start to fold in. Take both hands to that front foot and encourage the heart to stay open even as you go in. And again, listen to the breath. The breath is always talking to you. The breath is saying, whoa, whoa, hold here. Or the breath is saying, ah, oh, let's go a little further. to rise, stretch both legs forward, okay, 
And we're gonna do, we're gonna finish with Paschimottanasana. It's a symmetrical forward fold. So as you, again, come onto fingertips, open through your heart, walk your hands forward. One variation, just to stay on fingertips with the heart open, totally cool, because the opening of the heart requires you to press down through your legs. It's a massive uh, uh, grounding for your body and also a stretch in the back of your legs. Next stage, we can grab the outsides of the feet with both uh, hands. As you fold in, keep the arms floating, but with no tension in the shoulders or neck. So as you fold in, just close your eyes for a moment. I want you to experience your breath. Visualize your bones as if they're just floating on water. And the breath is kind of like an ocean wave that just pulses. And the bones, they just move to allow the wave. Oh, nice. On the next inhale, rise. Whoa, that felt good. Okay, we're gonna do a little pranayama work, breath exercise. So come into a cross-legged seated position. If you need to sit up on something, if your knees are rising higher than your hips when you sit, just sit up on something, okay? So as we sit, you can sit in Sukhasana or I'm in Siddhasana, Sukhasana, just your shins rest on your heels or, or your feet. Open through your heart. I'm gonna talk you through the whole thing. We're gonna inhale for five, we're gonna hold for 10, and then we're gonna exhale for 10, okay? Inhale for five, hold at the top for 10, exhale for 10. So as we hold the breath, we're creating pressure, so we're gonna do Jalandhar Bandha, chin down. So let's do that now. Lower your chin towards your chest, but lift your chest towards your chin. We'll do one cleansing breath here. Inhale through your nose, and exhale through your mouth. Beautiful. Inhale for five, four, three, two, one. Hold for 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Exhale for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for five, four, Three, two, one. Hold for 10. Exhale for 10. Three, two, one. On the next inhale, lift your chin. And exhale through your mouth. Beautiful. Sit with the eyes closed. Keep the chin and throat o- chin lifted, throat open. We'll do a short meditation. If you need a longer meditation, please pause the video. Come back and join us when you're ready. As we sit for meditation, we just soften the physical body, and we allow our awareness to really enjoy the space that is inside us. We just sit with that. Begin to deepen your breath. Bring your hands together in prayer pose. Take a moment and pause in the space of your heart. And into that space, bow your head. We are so blessed and privileged to have this experience, to live life in this body, this beautiful instrument that we have been given. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. I sincerely appreciate Uh, your energy and your presence. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Namaste.
There you go. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you listening and watching. Have an amazing day, a beautiful week. Sending you so much love. And don't forget, live your truth. I love you. Bye.